friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 5 or grade 5 plus the main incision has been made a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision and now I am going to stain the anterior capsule of this heart cataract with tripe and blue dye and this is tripe and blue 0 0.06 percent dye being applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble and this is a bit of adrenaline because I see that people is not fully dilated and let us see if adrenaline has some effect or not yes adrenaline has caused a more dilatation and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and at this time we see that the people is very nicely dilated now capsular axis is to be done this is capsular tags with the help of a needle now I use Utrita forceps hold this capsular tag go anti-clockwise remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people in this case I want to make a large axis and this is a very good rexis for this heart cataract large and round rexis and now hydro dissection is being done little bit of fluid is injected at multiple points the nucleus is rotated some more visco is applied at this stage this is 2% SPMC and now the tip of the FACO handpiece is going to be introduced and in this case I have exposed the tip little more because the cataract is very hard and I want to use my technique which I call submarine chop the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus goes through the nucleus the chopper supports the anterior surface so that the lens is not tilted and here it is it is chopped into two large parts the nucleus has been divided into almost equal halves and now each heminucleus is to be divided into two fragments and at this time see what has happened the people which was very nicely dilated, dilated has started constricting and I am or it because the cataract is very hard if the cataract is not so hard we can manage with small people but when the cataract is so hard and when there is intraoperative meiosis I am little worried and I thought of using a people expansion device instead of going ahead at this stage 
and this is a B hex people expansion device it has been invented by Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji of Kolkata India it has got notches and flanges alternate flanges are tucked by these B hex forceps but see what has happened in this case as I go now again with irrigation the people dilates probably because of LIRS lens iris diaphragm retropulsion and the B hex has come out the flanges which were tucked has come out and the B hex is now in the anterior chamber but again the people has become small so I have to reapply this device properly I used the chopper so that the device doesn't come and hit the cornea and now after injecting little bit of visco I used the b-hex forceps again tuck a flange at 5 o'clock another flange at 1 o'clock and go through the left side port use this flange at tuck this flange at 10 o'clock but see what has happened it is not tucked properly so I had to untuck this part again hold the tab at the middle of this flange and tuck it properly from now onwards I will be cautious not to cause too much dilatation of the people during introduction of the FECO handpiece here it is as I go in yes it dilates then I lift the pupillary border with since with this chopper and the people constricted and the device is in place and now I slowly start emulsifying this large fragment what I do is I start emulsifying from one side and if necessary I subdivide these large fragments into two parts otherwise I just finish it off without dividing into smaller parts now this seminucleus didn't move so I came out injecting some visco and now using a sense key hook to dial this fragment this seminucleus and place it in this way so that I can approach it with the tip of the FECO handpiece and now I go in go at the margin again I lift the iris break the reverse pupillary block and here it is I'm dividing this piece into two fragments but it has not divided this is the endonucleus I remove this and then I find that there is some attachment between these two fragments 
so I apply opposite forces and separate these two pieces now I start emulsifying on large fragment from its apex FECO power being used is 80% flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the machine is Caterix 3 of Oatley from Switzerland and this is the last big piece at this time I have to be very cautious when I am a small portion of the nucleus is there I remove the chopper to make the antechamber more stable and if necessary I decrease the vacuum from 450 to about 150 and emulsify this last piece, last portion. And extremely slowly I am doing this emulsification. This is a small fragment and on small fragment is near the left side port before it gets lost I must remove it so what I do is I place it in front of the main incision use a simco and remove it and now I am removing some cortex from removed some cortex from 5 o'clock then I am using bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of this cortex from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock there is some more lens fibers at 1 o'clock and here it is, it is removed so cortical cleanup has been removed nicely in this case actually there was very little cortex epinucleus has been incorporated into the nucleus and there is very little cortex now I inject some visco and implant a single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag yes the uh, lens has gone into the capsular bag dial the lens place the haptics about 90 degree away from the main end so that I can go behind the eye well and remove visco nicely from the capsular bag and now I inject some more visco for a removal of the BHEX people expansion device and see how the device is removed hold the flange at 4 o'clock pull it centrally and again go periphery and just pull it out and now the visco that has been used for implantation of intraocular lens is to be removed very nicely um, using this 23G Simco first irrigating at this moment there is two irrigation there is some BSS in the syringe I am irrigating that through the aspirating port and irrigation is already there from the side and after irrigating for some time I start aspirating
yes so visco has been nicely removed now i inject little bit of moxifloxacin hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions that is the side ports so that these stab wounds get closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber after a thorough lavage the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence